scientist, Dr. Fizzbop here. Lately, I've been pondering the wondrous phenomenon of water. Did you know that water can bend? Well, sure. You've seen it flow around a curve in a river, and you can imagine it curving around, turning in pipes in your house. But today, we're going to actually make it bend in mid-air while it's flowing freely from your faucet. No pipes or muddy river banks required. Plus, you'll only need a couple of items to make it happen. I'm ecstatic for you to try this super simple experiment. Today at Fizzbop Labs, I'm assisted by Declan! Let's get started. First, the Fizzbop supply list. We need an inflated balloon and a narrow stream of water from a faucet. We'll wait right here while you gather your supplies. Okay, now that we have gathered our supplies, let's get to the experiment. First, we need to inflate our balloon. Ooh, is that your balloon? Look at mine. Woo! Whoa! Let's try that again. I'm gonna tie my balloon, and then I'll tie yours for you. Does that sound good, Declan? Got it? Whoop. Okay, maybe we should just use my balloon. How about that? Let's use my balloon. No more Okay. Okay, next, we're gonna turn on the water and allow a very narrow stream to flow into the sink. Very narrow. Now, we're going to rub our hair with the balloon a dozen times. Ready? Oh my. My hair's out of here. You're crazy. My hair crazy? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Next, we're going to slowly move the balloon toward the stream of water, but we can't let the balloon touch the water. Watch closely and observe what happens. Do you see it bending? What's bending? Water, look at it. You see it bending? Okay, you try yours. Get, get more static on it, static again. Do like, shh, get on your hair. You're really staticky. You're really good. Okay, now hold it slowly against the water. Ready? Look, it's bending. Do you see the water bending towards you? Do you see it? Okay, do it again. Okay, do it by yourself. Don't touch the water with it. You gotta be very careful not to touch the water. You see how it's bending towards the balloon? Let go. You're bending water. Wow! All right, fizz test it. Look at What did you see? I hope when you're done, you'll snap a picture and post it online so we can see the results of your marvelous experiment. Whoa, it's moving. It's actually wiggling. Tag us at Fizzbop Labs and use hashtag Fizzbop. What's happening? Well, while rubbing the balloon get against our hair, static electricity began to build on the balloon. The stream of water was attracted to the built up static electricity as the balloon near the water, the stream, began to bend. 
But why? As we rubbed our hair with the balloon, electrons, negatively charged particles, jumped from our hair to the balloon as they rubbed together. The balloon became negatively charged because it gained more electrons. Water molecules have a positive and a negative end, so they are electrically neutral. When we moved the negatively charged balloon toward the water, the positive ends of the water molecules were attracted toward the negatively charged balloon. That caused the stream of water to bend. The bending stopped when the balloon repelled the negative ends of the water molecules, preventing the water from touching the balloon. Isn't that neato? It's time to collect our data. You can record it in Faith and Science with Dr. Fizzbop on page 48 or in your Fizzbop Labs notebook. What happened when you put the balloon near the water? Do you think a bigger balloon would cause the water to bend further? That's it. I hope you enjoy bending some water and that you'll share the results of your experiment with us by tagging at Fizzbop Labs and using hashtag Fizzbop. Thanks for joining us here at Fizzbop Labs. We hope you had as fantastic time as we have. Join us here each week for a new experiment and don't forget to subscribe and like this video.